Okay, next up, uh, let's look at a few more trig style questions. This time, more kind of converting between cos and sine uh, using double angles, uh, those, those sorts of questions. Here's the first one. This is a very common sort of question. Given that cos A is one third, I'm given that A is between zero and pi over two, find cos of two A. Well, for this one, let's remember it's double angle. We have a choice of three different angles to use, double angle formulas. Well, let's choose the one that is most useful. We've got cos A. So let's use the second one here, because then we can just substitute this value straight in here. So we're going to use cos 2 theta equals 2 cos squared theta take away 1. So therefore, just substitute the value in. So cos theta is a, is a third. Put it into my formula. There we go. Cos 2 theta cos 2a is minus 7 over 9. That's the first one. Don't need to worry about the cast diagram for this one. As long as you've got the, the other values correct, you'll get the, the correct value automatically. Um, okay, another question. We're given that sine b is 2 thirds, and we want to find cos b. And this time, b is between pi over 2 and pi. Okay, this time, we're going to use the formula sine squared b plus cos squared b is equal to 1. Again, just stick in the values. So sine b is 2 thirds. So it's 2 thirds all squared plus cos squared b is equal to 1. Therefore, rearrange it. Cos squared b is 1 take away 4 over 5, which is going to be 5, sorry, 4 over 9. Um, and then if we, if we work that out, that's going to give us 5 over 9. And therefore, cos b is plus or minus root 5 over 9. Don't forget the plus or minus. Uh, the last step is to decide, is it positive or is it negative? Well, we're in the second quadrant. So here's the second quadrant. Second quadrant is saying only sine is positive, therefore cos is negative. So minus 5, and I've square rooted, uh, it's minus square root 5, and I've square rooted the bottom, so I get 3. Okay, uh, another question. I'm just going to show you a different method for working between sine and cos. Uh, it's sometimes easier. Uh, so here we go. So sine A is 5 over 13. Show that cos A is 12 over 13. Okay, so we could use the, the formula that we've just done, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. Okay, but we could do this method as well. Um, so here we go. I've just labeled my triangle. This is angle A here. Well, sine theta is opposite in the hypotenuse. So this is 5, and therefore this is 13 just from my ratio here. I can then use Pythagoras to find out what x is. So x is going to be uh, 13 squared take away 5 squared square root, which is going to give me 12. So therefore, x is 12. And if x is 12, I can now use the formula for cos theta, which is adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent is 12. Hypotenuse is 13. So there we go. Cos theta is 12 over 13. I don't need to worry about the cast diagram. In this case here, the angle is acute, less than 90. Therefore, it is positive. Everything is positive in the first quadrant. Okay, here's another question. So sine theta is 2 over root 13. Find cos theta. This time we're in the second quadrant again. Exactly the same as before. There's my sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Okay, stick in the value. Again, cos squared theta is 1, take away 4, take away 13. Cos squared theta is 9 over 13. And as before, I get the plus or minus when I square root. I just need to decide is it positive or negative. Uh, I look second quadrant, only sign positive. Therefore, cos is negative. Okay, part B, this is a bit more difficult. Um, find tan 2 theta. Now, part A, you remember, we, we now know that sine theta is 2 over root 13. Cos theta is minus 3 over root 13. Now, tan 2 theta is going to be sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta. Therefore, we need sine 2 theta, and we also need to find cos 2 theta. So we need both of them. Now, let's just write down the formula for sine 2 theta. That's going to be 2 sine theta cos theta. So therefore, I can stick in my values. Sine 2 theta is 2 times 2 over root 13 times minus 3 over root 13, which is minus 12 over 13. And our cos 2 theta, I can use whichever formula I want. 
I'll use the, this one here, 1 take away 2 sine squared theta. Again, put my value in for sine theta, which is 1 take away 2 bracket 2 over root 13 squared, which is going to give me 5 over 13. So I now know what sine 2 theta is, and I know what cos 2 theta is. Therefore, tan 2 theta is going to be sine 2 theta divided by cos 2 theta, which is minus 12 over 13 divided by 5 over 13. Okay, dividing by fraction, we flip the fraction in times, and we get tan 2 theta is minus 12 over 5. Okay, and then I've got one last question. This is quite a, a difficult question. Uh, there's a few different things to do in it. Uh, we're given the area of the triangle, we're given these lengths here, and we need to find out what x is. We're also given what sine theta is. Uh, the reason this is difficult is because it's not obvious immediately what we're going to do. Okay, hopefully it'll become a, a, apparent as we start the question. So always just write down some information. The area of the triangle is 5. Well, what formula do we have for the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is a half AB sine C, where the A and the B are the sides, like, around the angle itself. So let's just fill in those values that we've got. Well, the area of the triangle is 5, A and B, so well, that's 2 root 5, and X, those are the two sides. And this is the trick. The total angle there is 2 theta, so we've got sine 2 theta. Okay, so... Once we've got this, hopefully we can spot that what's going to happen, we've got sine theta here, and what we need is sine 2 theta. So actually it's going to be the same sort of question as the previous ones, but we just have to do more work. So i now got 5, I've got this, I've got this. Basically if I can find sine 2 theta, I can rearrange it and find out what x is equal to do, as it's going to be. So here we go. Um, sine theta is 2 thirds. I want sine 2 theta. Well, sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. Uh, therefore, I need to find out what cos theta is. Well, sine theta is 2 thirds. So let's use my formula again. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Stick in my value for sine theta. I'm going to get cos theta is... Oh, sorry, cos squared theta is 5 over 9. So therefore, cos theta is root 5 over 3. It's an acute angle. Therefore, it's going to be positive. We well, know that cos theta is root 5 over 3, so therefore sine 2 theta is going to be 2 times sine theta times cos theta. So 2 times 2 over 3 times root 5 over 3, which is going to be this, 4 root 5 over 9. So there we go, I've got sine 2 theta. Now remember, what was the point of finding sine 2 theta? Well, it was using to this formula here. Now I know that sine 2 theta is this, 4 root 5 over 9. I've basically got an equation, I just need to rearrange this. It's non-calculator, so I'm going to have to do a bit of work in my head still. 2 times a half, that's just going to be 1. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. And it just gives me there for this, 4 times 5x over 9. And then just rearrange it. Therefore, x is 45 over 20, which is the same as 9 over 4. So there we go, a slightly more difficult double angle formula question.